In the exercises which follow, we will be using Turtle Graphics to attempt to write on the screen. You can imagine that we are giving commands to a little robot turtle. It listens to each command and then follows the instructions to leave a trail on screen. There are two approaches we can take to writing the word beeper using our turtle. In the first approach, we just issue one command after the other and we tell it how to draw a letter B and then we tell it to draw a letter E and then we tell it to draw another letter E. We might be able to use copying and pasting of our code to make the second E uh, and so on. And we can use it again before the R. We might even be able to uh, adjust our code slightly. Uh, a letter B is very similar in shape to a letter E. So if we draw a B and then repeat some of this code without drawing the curved parts, we'll have an E instead of a B. So that's one approach. Um, and the problem with that is it's going to be quite hard to debug. We'll end up with hundreds of lines of code and we might not be exactly sure which line uh, creates which part of the letters. It'd be very difficult to reuse that to write any other words. Uh, if we wanted to change to writing the word pepper or something like that, it would not be so easy to figure out which part, parts to keep and which to reuse. And we can't make a library uh, that could then be used in future every time we want to make new words. So our second approach is to use procedural code. Procedural code will make a procedure or recipe for each of the letters separately. And then we'll just ask the turtle to follow a recipe. Follow a B recipe, follow an E recipe, follow the same recipe again, and so on, so that it can spell out each word. The advantages to this approach is that we only have to worry about one letter at a time. So if something's going wrong, we can easily find which part of it needs fixing. It's very easy to reuse the letters. So once we've made a letter E, we can get it to happen three times to spell out the word beeper. And we can save our letters, our recipe letters, the procedures, for use as a library uh, and can then build it into later programs. Before we start, it's important to think about how we will draw these letters and uh, come up with an efficient way of doing things. To draw a letter E, uh, we start by drawing uh, a stem with some arms. A stem, you can see the, the names that are used by printers to describe fonts and letters. The stem is the line that goes straight up and down. And the arms are the bits that go across the way. So on the capital E here, an arm is the uh, horizontal part. Once we've made an E, we can make a B from that shape. To make a B, we draw an E, and then we draw in a curved bowl at the top and another curved bowl at the bottom. Uh, each of those bowls is half the height of the letter E, and that's important to appreciate. Once we have a letter B, we can draw the letter P just by leaving off the bottom arm of the E, but repeating the drawing of the top bowl. So the P is uh, an F with one bowl at the top part. Once we have a P, we can add in a diagonal straight line to make the letter R. And now we have all of the letters we need to spell out the word beeper. So the first thing we need to do is to create code which makes the letter E. There is a separate video available which shows how this was arrived at. In your REPL, you will find code that already does this. And what you are then asked to do is to make the changes that would turn an E into a B. Once you have debugged and got your letter B working, and you could spell out the word beeb to check that that's working properly, 
you can then move on to convert a B into a P. Uh, in each case, the changes you need to make are highlighted in yellow uh, compared to the previous letter. And once you have your P, you can then adjust that to make the letter R. Once you have tried out and got uh, the word beeper working, uh, you can then learn, uh, build on what you've learned to add an L and make the word bleeper. Uh, reassemble the order in which letters are written to make the word rebel. Add in a letter F, which is very close to a letter E, to make feebler. And then have a go at some of these additional words that you see here. In each case, you should try building the letter separately and testing it out. And then once you've got it working, you can then add it into the uh, words by putting all the letters in order.